hello, hello. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the hind end of Kylie. Anyway, welcome to uh, Tuesday, the uh, 21st of February. And man, of course, just as I come out here, been looking out the windows all morning, these bag old flakes, it's not really, it's, it's only 31 degrees, the ground, I'm sure it's probably warm, but it was much wider and big old flakes coming down just literally five minutes ago. I go, yeah, the peeps gonna love all the snow. Kai Kai says, I'm about ready to head for the barn. But, oh, look at that, even clearing skies. This thing has no ABS, no traction control, of course. Has all wheel drive, but some mostly worn out tires. That one's got like modes all kinds of fancy stuff so to be safe and has fresh tires we're taking the mdx despite the disaster it's gonna make out of it driving in this slushy mucky stuff <laughs> it always auto locks her doors she goes to jail unlock it before he got out and it would just probably lock again when I walked away so what difference does it make hey right, mama let's go play in the snow all right all right nice and warm in here I know this is the bee's knees mama yeah, it is yeah, all right that light dusting of snow is just always beautiful You know, it's the first time we've driven the Acura in the snow. Look at this in the Castle Rock area. It's still in the trees and stuff around here. It's 33 at the moment, so it ain't gonna last long. This is that mountain scene I've shown you guys a bunch. Look at that out there with all the snow. The shocking difference a couple miles down the road makes. Is that amazing? Elevation and distance. How in the world is it freezing and snowing? <laughs> Get on the other side of Castle Rock where it was probably the worst and um, turns into this. I'm not complaining. Beautiful. It's 35 degrees at the moment. Like I said, when we were back in just outside of Woodland, I did a little clip while you were in the store. I'm going, what the heck happened? I know, it's the craziest thing. It's even white out. Yeah. Freezing wind and snow and sunshine now. It's like we took a quick flight somewhere. I know, it is so different. I was in it's snowy Alaska. Really <laughs> now I'm in, you know, LA or something, I you know. know. <laughs> well, Mama? We made That's it to Tuesday. We did. Let's uh, let's bust out a beautiful day. Oh Although gosh. it's still 35 degrees. It's you step pretty, out this automobile, it's, it's going to have a cold. bite. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mama. So have a wonderful day. You too, Love, see you, bye. I love you. All right. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Well, we can't say that Vancouver didn't get snow. Isn't that beautiful? I love it when it's still in the trees. How about this? A 2015 BMW K1600 GTLE. The E stands for exclusive. <laughs> so I've known this gentleman. Good lord. 15 or 16 years. And he is a. Uh, A more work related kind of a thing he's a uh, not gonna ride for a little bit he's taking care of some personal business and uh so I got to meet the nice gentleman oh lord I can't see past that's the owner's truck well he ain't kidding about the mapping he put in here forget what he called it but the <laughs> The throttle response is, uh, I think he said it said at 105% or 
This thing is some kind of spunky. But anyway, um, he's selling this. Not going to ride for a little bit. Probably buy one of the new uh, K1600 GTs, GTL, whatever it's called, that's coming out. I haven't seen none of them yet. With the new big display on it, like the new RTs and stuff have on it. We thought these things would be gone for this year. But, uh, nope. BMW done gone and surprised us and updated it instead. <laughs> I mean, spunky? Holy crap! This thing, I mean, flat gets it. It's crazy, the responsiveness of it. Anyway, met the gentleman that's <coughs> that's buying it from him. In fact, both of them were down there today. We're chit and chat with him. And the new owner, he's a long-time Harley dude. He was showing me. I thought that was a coyote there for a second. Did you guys? Still not sure it's not. Nah, that's dope. Ooh, look at the frozen stuff on the ground. You're not a coyote, are you? Nah, it's a dog. Yeah, there's frozen stuff everywhere down here. <laughs> just that little bit lofted the front wheel off the ground. I just bear it just nowhere near on the throttle. So anyway, he's showing me some pictures of his pan heads, knuckle heads, flat heads. Oh, dude, he's got some cool stuff. But uh, him and his wife tour, I think he said he's got a 2013 Road King. And uh, they're just looking for something, fairings and all that kind of stuff. This thing has backrest on the back and all kinds of fancy stuff on it. And uh, he's had quite a few BMWs over the years too. So he's, he's uh, not just the Harley guy. <laughs> He had some of the old Kawasaki triples, the old H2s and whatnot. Oh. Thank you, nice bus lady. I'm telling you what. That's just one happy son of a gun right here. I forget who he said. I think he said sent the DME off to be flashed or something. I, I'm not sure. Wow. Makes the bike feel like it's about 100, 200 pounds lighter. Yeah, you can take 200 off of this thing, probably not even notice it. <laughs> but yeah, she feels spunky. Anyway, super cool dude, the new guy. Him and his wife, I guess they haven't toured, you know, since the whole thing came about the pandemic so they're getting back into it and we come across this thing and I think he specifically had his eye on K1600s he didn't get into what made him choose one but he uh, found this guy and this bike and off he goes he's only got 18.9 for mileage she's still a puppy by 2015 all the little weird quirky things are long gone <laughs> there's no transmission things with these at all look at this light out here 39.2 degrees the bike is saying the temperature is i don't know how quick these things adjust man do i have a freaking vent open in my helmet i feel cold air coming in coming straight up the back of my neck might be the Vortex's windshield too. I don't usually, I don't know that I've ever test rode anything with this helmet and this cool a temperature. I am so impressed on how this thing runs. He said it didn't hurt his fuel mileage either. He says there's, the mapping is just super, which what little I've ridden it. I gotta agree with that. She's like overly clean. 
But dude, you would have to be so careful. One wrong throttle move on this thing and it could be ugly for you. Of course, he's got it. I think he had the mapping in dynamic mode. Yeah, dynamic. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much going to do everything just right. Might as well call that sport mode. <laughs> Probably put it in rain mode and mellow it out quite a bit. Good God! Oh, that sound these things make when you get them wound out. It reminds me of those old uh, VFR Hondas with the uh, VTEC valves in there, where eight of them were down low, and the other eight would kick in. The early ones now that was doing this, they'd kick in at 7,000 RPMs. And at the same time, half of the airbox was shut off. When those valves would open, the other half would open. And that VFR Honda would make literally the coolest sound you've ever heard. And man, there was no traction control, none of that stuff back then. Man. Definitely scared some people riding them. I love that thing hit like an old two-stroke power van, boy. Just bah, whoa. Yeah, just make the coolest sound. And man, if you weren't paying attention and you were fully on the throttle when that when all 16 valves and the second half of the airbox opened up. Yeah, buddy, you were staring at the stars. She 12 o'clock on you at a moment's notice anyway cool dude both guys super cool original guy he's i think he had a suzuki i don't know several motorcycles he's gone through since i've known him i think the last one before this was uh one of those 1500 suzuki's the big cruiser kind of talking about harleys and i tried to hit a a harley right hand turn signal there ain't nothing there, is there? <laughs> the wind out here is incredible. This thing is so responsive. I mean, I literally have to be careful with it. The guy that's buying it hasn't even ridden it yet. I hope he realizes that this ain't going to be like one of your old hoes. This thing's going to get it. His riches is falling down. <laughs> hey, my office guy's in there today. We'll flash a beamer at him today. Look at him, he's all busy down there. Got that phone going. Man, it's cold out here. I don't have the grips on or anything. And it's not not the palm of my hands it's the uh, outside of my hands and he even has those deflectors on there that velcro on that helps deflect the wind I was about to say that's a bunch of well it probably was ice but it's all salt down there now I'll have to be mindful not to come down here when it's wet <laughs> this is one bad GTLE I'm here to tell you Super impressed. I need to get with him and see who he told me who it was that I didn't pay no attention to it. Should have who the company was that flashed this thing. Crazy. The traction control said, uh, 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 uh. Don't like that. I heard it stutter. Well, I'm going to park it down here. So, the brake fluid, you can probably see it in the camera. Look at the brake fluid on this thing. Look how weird that is. It's all murky and cloudy. I'm not even going to pop the top and test it. I just immediately says, brake fluid needs to be flushed. <laughs> and the rear, uh, the rear pads are down to about the 20% mark. They're down there a ways. 
Look at that big old gal. And I don't think you had very many color options. I think when you got a GTLE, it was whatever it was that year. Armrest. When the armrests are up on these things, it looks like somebody's going, I give. <laughs> so it looks like, it's like somebody's got their, hold your hands up. <laughs> Get up in the air, son. And he's got an aftermarket seat on it. I've never been a fan of those, but you can't argue they're very comfortable so if you were doing some serious touring and you could handle that look I guess they're one of the most comfortable seats you can ride on very very impressive running all right on to the next project we almost shut the store down tonight sorry bad coming in the last minute but he bought a whole bunch of stuff, which is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Get his ride all tricked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, holy moly. That's going to be a nice machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Kawasaki side by side? Yeah. Terex or something? Yeah. Well, Mama? Yes, sir. Let's roll north. All right. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, oh man. It's 33 out there. But the wind chill has got to oh. be about 12. Yeah, it is. Man, it's cold. Be cold. Mm. It's funny, Kelly goes, I don't know how you rode that motorcycle out there. Oh, there ain't no way. Well, that thing was so much fun right out of the gate. I had the cold. I didn't even think about the cold. I got off when I was bringing the paperwork upstairs. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> I was walking around with my coat all zipped up. It was leaving my mask on just to keep my face warm you know, oh, I know it. go outside and whoop, the thing comes off right away nope just go ahead and leave her on yeah, keep my fish warm <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. and then even when you're don't have it on it'll like warm your your uh, little chinny chin chin yes your neck that's a good thing about the mask they come in they handy for that face warm yeah yeah but anyway, that K1600 that was something impressive I need to find out he kept saying the name, and I'm like, man, I don't care about those things. Well, I care now. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's but, very cool. Yeah. Like memes or something he was saying, something like that. But, uh, wow. Well, how to wake up a K1600. Holy moly. That's right. Cool. Anyway, I'd go on about that all night. About 20 minutes later, I was still talking about it to the guys upstairs. <laughs> yeah, very responsive. <laughs> Almost too responsive, but uh, that's okay. We need a challenge when you're riding a motorcycle. Mm -hmm. But on that, I think we're gonna bounce. <clears throat> well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Wednesday or Thursday. Hey, you guys want to see something weird? Let's see if I can get my finger. See that? That because it's got a big moon roof. The lights are on the side. Pay attention at the image stabilization on that that light stays still it, it's really weird it it likes to it's using that light as like a base or something that's funny it's funny i watch them i'm editing these when we do the goodbyes and the accurate i'm going that's really weird yeah it just stays so late. yeah but anyway we're going all right see you in the morning see you then it's supposed to be even colder tomorrow so we'll probably drive the mdx yes just because it's nice yeah all right thanks for watching bye, bye.